Hi people, I'm Karthik and over the next few minutes I will be playing through my latest level for Doom 2 which is called Dark Fate 2. Uh, that's obviously a sequel to a 2003 map of mine called Dark Fate and this level is called Dark Fate 2 for lack of a better title. So uh, I'll be playing this at skill 3 because skill 4 is a bit too tough for me to play. I, I haven't made a title screen for this level yet, so that's why this is a standard Doom 2 title screen. I'll be replacing this with something else once I release the level. Uh, so, this music which I used in the level, it's from Duke Nukem 3D. The song is called The City Streets. Uh, this look of the level, that is the red hot rocks, that's uh, inspired by some of the later levels in Eric Arm's site. So. Okay, there's a mancubus there who will keep firing at you, but you'll get to kill him later on. Okay, I think I lost a bit more health over there than necessary, but anyway. Uh, those two Hell Knights which came there, I had to teleport them in there um, because uh, this is the area where you started off the level and had these two guys been over here when you started off it would have made the start area unnecessarily tough. Uh, this sky graphic which you see here, that is actually a modified version of a sky from, a he from Heretic. I actually made it for a different level but then uh, since this level was dark the sky suited it so I used it over here. Um, okay. You can also see that there is an outdoor area over here which you will come to later on in the level and finally this is the exit. Um, this is where you will have to come to eventually and uh, finish the level. Okay. okay, this is something I find myself doing in uh, a lot of my levels. Uh, you have an elevator which you activate and then it comes down and the monster comes out of it. So that's what I did over here. Okay, this is another thing which you will see often in my levels that is monsters coming out of nowhere. Uh, here you may not be able to see it very clearly, but there will be a revenant which will pop out once you enter this room. So, and there he is. And, uh, okay. Oh, good. Okay, so I pick up this. Then, yeah, this is that mancubus who was firing at you in the start of the level. So, you have enough place to dodge him over here, so it's easy to kill him. Okay, now we come to an important part of the level. That is this switch. Uh, this switch will open this door down here which uh, you couldn't open in the beginning. It also opens this and down there there is an archwell and also a blue sphere. So you will get some more health over there. Okay. Okay, you have to be a bit careful with this guy here because he will start spawning many monsters if you don't take care of them quickly okay okay I think 
he is dead, but not bad. Okay. So, yeah, there is one more secret over here. Uh, this might be a spoiler, but then, okay, look at this. Uh, this particular uh, light over here, it's flickering. So, you press this, there's a switch which is revealed over here. I'll come back to this later on. I'll tell you what this switch does. Okay, now flipping this switch lowers this uh, wall. It will also lower this thing. It lowers this wall, this wall, and this wall. So then you'd actually be able to jump out into the outdoor area. Okay, so. Okay, this also let's lose some monsters okay yeah this area um, it's a bit dark so if you go in there and pick up the stuff in here you get credit for a secret okay so right okay at this point okay that's the yellow key over there so all you have to do is pick up that open this door and there's a teleporter in here which will take you to the exit area on top but then at this point I will I'm going to save my game because coming up is a fight with a cyber demon and um, if that guy kills me what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit out the footage where I die Okay, if you notice what I did there, there's a teleporter uh, down over here, so you can use it to come back into the top area and then evade uh, cyber demon now and then. Come back. Okay, it's important not to waste too much of ammo on this guy because there are a few other monsters which you'll have to fight after you kill him. Ah, I killed him finally. Okay, so... I think we should be comfortable now. So the moment you pick up this yellow key, there's an area which opens up and you'll have a number of these Kakao demons which will come out. So if you... So like I said, that's why you shouldn't waste ammo on the cyber demon, otherwise you won't have anything to kill these guys with. We can actually use this thing. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, uh, remember there was a switch which I told you about. There's a secret area there that actually lowers these bars so that you can enter this teleporter. So we'll go back up there, throw this switch, jump back down, and then go here. So this is a, uh, the second secret area. This is actually the place where these Kako demons came out of. And okay, if this guy wasn't here, you could actually see the entire level. Yeah, you can actually see the entire level here. Okay. So yes, now it's um, almost done. You open this door, kill these guys, and and this is you're here at the exit. And this is the exit teleporter which will conclude the level. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. This is the end credits music from Portal the game, which uh, I like. I like the song a lot, so that's why I used it as this, as the no, ending music for this level. Uh, once again, this um, intermission screen, I'll replace it with something else uh, uh, when I actually release the map. So, yes, that's about it. That uh, concludes this uh, walkthrough of Dark Fate 2. Uh, thanks very much for watching.